Hey y'all and welcome, it's Mo here, and today I'm going to show you a super beginner-friendly way to draw a croquis using the nine head method. For this tutorial, you're going to need some paper, a pencil of your choosing, I like to use a mechanical, but a number two is fine. If you're feeling fancy, a black pen with a fine tip, I'm using the Sharpie as you can see here. You'll also need an eraser and a ruler. So grab your gear, gorgeous, and let's get started. So first things first, we're going to create some guidelines. So you're going to want to fold your paper in half and then take your ruler and draw a vertical line down the center. Then position your ruler on that line and make 10 dashes an inch apart. Now, just so you know, croquis means sketch in French. In fashion design and illustration, it's a quick sketch of a fashion figure or model and it just serves as your canvas for drawing clothing. Once you have your dashes marked, then we're gonna draw some straight horizontal lines and just try to keep them as neat and tidy as you can. And also the nine head method is just a way to make sure your sketch is proportionally accurate, just using your head of your sketch as your guide. Now, once you have your lines drawn, you're gonna skip that first line and start numbering them one through nine. Between lines one and two, you're gonna make a dashed line about a half inch down. And between lines four and five, about a quarter inch down, you're gonna make another dashed line. So once you have those last few lines penciled in, we're gonna make our heads, our nine heads that is. And these are just ovals. So on each of the lines, try to keep them about the same size because this is gonna help us out later. And this will give you good practice to drawing the heads. And they don't have to be perfect, but these two at the top are bugging me, so I'm going to fix them. And no shame here. Don't be afraid to use your eraser. If you mess up, it's totally fine. Your eraser is your best friend. So once you have your heads drawn, we're going to label the anatomy for your sketch we're about to create. So on number one, it's the head. That halfway line, we're going to mark it shoulder. On number two, it's the center bust. Number three is the waist slash elbow. Number four is the hip slash wrist. That quarter of a line down is going to be labeled the crotch line. Number five is mid thigh. Number six is your knees. Number seven is the calf. And number nine, the ankles. Now we've got our guidelines done. And here comes the fun part. We're going to start our skeleton. So from that center front line that we created at the start, you're going to make an oval for the head. Now on this horizontal line, we're going to draw a line straight across with the shoulders. And this line should be about two heads wide. So you can use your ruler if you like but I like to use my fingers or my thumb to guide me, but it's fine if you have to pull out your ruler, that is totally okay. Next, we're gonna draw a line for the waist and the waist should be about one head in length. And again, you can use your ruler to check or thumb, fingers, whatever you're the most comfortable with. We're gonna go in and make another line for the waist. This one will also be two heads in width. And again, don't worry if you mess up. That's why we have our eraser. And at the dash line, you can either make a little dash mark or a V for the crotch. And going back to the waistline, you're gonna make a vertical line straight down. These will be our guidelines for our legs. And you'll take it all the way down past the nine mark and leaving some room for the feet. So you're gonna wanna do this on both sides. Once you have that done, you'll have your stick figure and we're going to add some shape to it. So what we're going to do now is connect our shoulder point to our waist point. And then we'll connect our waist point to our hip point. Then we're going to go back up to the shoulder point and make some lines going all the way down a little bit past that crotch line. Then we'll go back up to the head and right up underneath it, we'll make a cylinder for the neck. 
once you've got that cylinder shape done we're going to make some tiny lines just to connect the neck to the shoulder point and to top it all off we're going to add some little circles to mark the joint so at the shoulders the knees and the ankles and let's not forget the elbows and the wrists and voila you have your skeleton done so we're about to create that body and for here it'll be nothing but a series of ovals so from that line two to the shoulder point line draw a small oval from line two down to line three we're going to draw a slightly elongated oval from three to four another elongated oval both sides and starting from that line six where we drew the point for the knees we're going to come up and make an oval again but more more of a teardrop shape both sides and just make sure you come up a little bit above that line number four and from six to nine we're going to make another elongated teardrop shaped oval and so far, I'd like to know, do you feel comfortable with your drawing up until this point? Or is there anything that's tripping you up? I promise if you stick with me, it's all going to come together. I'm going to clean this up a little bit because I don't want my calves bigger than my thighs. That would just look wonky. But seriously, if you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer any questions that you have. And now for those fabulous feet, we're going to just make some simple triangles from that ankle point down to the last line. And triangles for the hands. So from the wrist point to that first little hook line that you created. And coming back down to the toes, we're just going to make a V or a upside down triangle, if you want to call it that. Looking good so far, right? Now that we've got the base shape done, we're going to go back in and put some definition to her. So starting at the neck, we're just going to make that line slightly wider and connect over the shoulder point. For the biceps, we're going to curve it down, connect it, and all the way down to the wrist. And again, feel free to use your eraser and adjust your proportions. So for the thumbs, I'm just going to make some skinny U's, like the letter U. And I'll extend that line out on the end for the pinkies. But we'll come back to the hands. So I'm going to give the legs some shape. And to connect the knees to the calf on the one side, it's like you're making a J shape. To connect it and then on the other side it's going to be like a slight L shape to connect it. I'm going to clean this up a little bit because I'm playing around with the proportions on the leg but again feel free to adjust but if you make a mistake it's okay that's why we've got the eraser and then we're going to continue to shape the legs so on the outside just sort of make a little curved line on each side so to give that leg some fullness. And to connect the ankles to the feet, we're going to make a little curved line on the outside of that little circle that we made. Those are going to be your ankle joints. Now we're going to go back up and draw in our four remaining fingers for our hands. Now we're going to create our dress form guidelines for the template. So going back up to the neck, you're going to draw slightly curved shape for your neckline. You're going to make a dot at the center for your bust point and then draw some curved lines for the bust. And I'm sorry guys I forgot earlier to make that center bust point line that I told you about but we're here now so it's okay. And then we're going to draw about mid shoulder down we're going to draw a line going through the apex of the bust and then another line connecting that bust point to the waist and a, another line 
here, we're gonna make an underwear line at the bottom and then connect it with a line going straight down. So we'll clean this up a little bit. And bingo, bingo, we're done with our base sketch. So we're not done here just yet. So you're gonna pick your favorite side. So whichever side of the croquis you think looks the best, you're gonna go with that side. And I'm just folding it up one more time just to make that line down the center a little bit more defined. I'm gonna take a sheet of copy paper and fold it in a half vertically too. I'm placing it on top so that way we're ready to trace this out. And just to make sure I'm keeping everything lined up, I'm gonna make a little tick mark at the top and the bottom of the line, that fold line, just to make sure I keep it nice and straight. Now this tool I'm about to show you, it's a light box that I found off Amazon. It's totally optional, but it just makes tracing out your piece a little bit easier. Now, when you're just getting started, it's a good tool, but of course you don't have to use it. You can use a white sheet of copy paper behind your sketch when you're tracing it out. For the purpose of this tutorial, just to make things easier to see as we're tracing it out, I'm using this. And of course, if you are interested in the light box, I'll have the information linked in the description below. And as we're tracing this out, we're only gonna go for our outermost lines and those style lines that we created to simulate the dress form. So the princess line, the bust line, the underwear line, and again, the outermost lines of your sketch. So once you have your favorite side traced out, again, you just need to trace the one side out. We're gonna move our base sketch to the side and we're gonna clean this up just a little bit here till we're happy with it. I'm also gonna round out the toes here just so that way it's not too pointy. And I'm gonna clean up my arms a bit too. And I'm gonna make some little tick lines for the elbow crease and for the knees. And I'm gonna add a curved style line here just to have a reference point for if I'm doing a swimwear piece or bustier type garment. All right, so you're gonna fold it in half. And let's start tracing out the other side. And there you have it. You've got your base template for your croquis. All done and symmetrical. And I'm just gonna drop down this center front line, but we are all done with our front facing stand in view. Now I'm not gonna leave you hanging. I'm gonna show you how to do the back. So just grab another sheet of paper and fold it in half vertically get it ready and you're going to place that second sheet of folded paper on top of your sketch and off camera before this step I did trace her out with the pen so we're going to trace back over this one more time on one side just keeping the outermost lines you don't have to worry about the style lines just yet because for the back view we are going to change them up a bit
So this point here where the neck meets the head, you're gonna make a small vertical line. Then you're gonna draw in the waistline and a curved line for the back of the arm. And for the neckline, you're gonna raise it a bit and connect it to the center point. At the torso, you are gonna keep that princess line for the back. Now here's where it changes up a bit. So for the bum, you're gonna make a wide U shape, connecting it to the crotch point. Then starting at that underwear line, you're gonna bring it out just a bit to give the back underwear line shape. And then you're gonna trace over that style line and connect it. For the back of the knees, you're gonna draw a little horizontal line. Then down past the ankle bone, you're gonna make a little U and another little wider U to give the foot some shape. On that smaller U, you're gonna round it off as a circle to simulate the back of a shoe. And where that line rounds off at the bottom, you're gonna draw a slightly curved line straight across, and then two more vertical lines to get the shape of a high heel. And once you're satisfied with it, just fold it in half. We're gonna flip it, and then we're gonna trace it out. Then we'll add the line straight down for the center back line. And you are all done, my dear. I told you I wouldn't leave you hanging. You've got your back view of your croquis all finished. And to top it all off, you can take your black pen and trace over it again, just to make it more defined and finalized. So that way when you're using it, it's easier to trace out. So now that you've got your front and back croquis done, you can stop here if you like, but if you want to see how to draw a more realistic sketch using your own body proportions, I'm going to show you that coming up next. Now full disclosure, you will need a printer for this next step. So you're going to grab your smartphone, you're going to take a picture of yourself and print that out. You're going to trace along the outer edges of your body, just so that way when you get ready to trace, it'll be a little easier to see. And again, you don't need the light box for this when you get ready to trace out, but it does definitely help. That way you can see what you're doing. You're gonna grab another sheet of paper, place it on top of that photo. All right, and you're just gonna trace yourself out. Remember following along the outer edges of your body.
and trace out your hair and your facial features. You can add a little bit more detail and don't forget to draw your ears. And for your ears, you'll make a regular C and a backward C. And draw in that center front line for your guidelines, create your underwear lines, bust lines. And I'm just gonna make this a bustier guideline, sort of like a swimsuit again, and draw in those princess lines too. And once you're happy with how it looks, you can take your black pen and trace over. And don't forget to add your center front line. Clean up your princess lines. And add your waistline. I'm going back in to trace out the details in my face and I'll also do a little bit of my hair and the sketch wouldn't be me without the dimples so I'm putting those in too. And don't be embarrassed to add those unique facial features that you have or any features that you want to add from your photo. It just makes the sketch more fun and it's again more personal because all those differences and little quirks that you have just make you you. So please don't leave them out. In some future tutorials that I have planned, I'll show you more in depth of how to draw the facial features. Plus I'll show you how to draw hair. So different hair types, different hair styles. I've got you covered for all of that. Every element of the croquis we're gonna go through. So stay tuned. And of course, I'm gonna take you through step-by-step step and show you how to draw all the different types of clothing. So stay tuned for that as well. And of course, for your custom croquis, I'm gonna show you how to make your back view. So grab another sheet of paper, fold it in half, and let's start tracing. Line that folded line to your center front line, and we're just gonna trace one side of your body. So just like we did with the template sketch, we're gonna go along the outer edges and trace that out. Don't forget at the neck point, make that line slightly higher where the neck meets the head. For the back of the elbows, we're gonna make some little U's and keep going. Down at the bottom, just below the ankle bone, make a little circle and then make some vertical curved lines for your heel. And right above that little circle, make two more little vertical lines for the back of your ankles. Then we're gonna make our little U, curve it all the way to the crotch line for the bum. Then for our back style line, we're gonna take it to the center front line with just a little dip and draw in our waistline and our style guidelines. Drawing your back underwear line from that front point where it starts, just make it slightly wider again. Then connect your style line. And once you're happy with how that looks, then we'll take the paper, fold it back in half, flip it, and trace the other side again. Draw in your vertical line for the center back, and we are done. And if you like, again, you can take your black pen and retrace it out. 
just to make it easier for future use. But other than that, we are golden. And there you have it y'all from stick figure to style icon. So you have your standard front and back view of your croaky and you've got your custom croaky that matches your own body proportions. Easy peasy, right? In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to get these girls moving down the runway. So don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. That way you'll know when that one comes out. In the meantime, here are a couple more videos that you can watch until then. Thank you so much for watching y'all. Until next time, keep sketching, keep sewing, and keep the momentum going.